okay you have another table which we call as excitation table okay what is a excitation table your excitation table gives you input variables for given change of state okay for given change of state so what do we mean by this it looks like this i have a q n i have a q n plus 1 and i have s and i have r so what are possible scenarios over here here i can have 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 so what this table is when your q n changes from 0 to 0 what is your s and r so i can say when this happens my s is 0 and my r is don't care because you see over here if your s is 0 okay if your qn is 0 because we are assuming qn 0 okay then your qn plus 1 is same as qn so you are going to get 0 so 0 0 condition gives me 0 and 0 1 condition also gives me 0 so i am going to say that this transition from 0 to 0 requires either s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 therefore i say the condition is 0 and r don't care okay now the next condition is transition from 0 to 1 transition from 0 to 1 is you have to have your s as 1 and r as 0 okay and transition from 1 to 0 you should have s as 0 and r as 1 okay and transition from 1 to 1 you get when you have x as don't care and r as 0 you can verify this from your characteristic table over here okay so this i am going to put in a table this is your excitation table what inputs you should have or what excitation you should have to get these transitions okay input variables for given change of state is known as excitation table okay now the next feature or description of latch can be given by a characteristic equation characteristic equation what is this this is a boolean expression for your q next this is boolean expression for next state based on input variables and your current state okay so this you can get from your truth table for sr latch the characteristic equation is q n plus 1 is equal to s plus r dash q n okay how do you get this equation you get this equation from this table okay if you write this table as 
R S Q N and Q N plus one, then you are going to consider these as your inputs and your Q N plus one, which is your next state, as your output. Okay. So with this table, you are going to create a K map. And you are going to simplify Q n plus one, and you are going to get this particular equation. Okay, so this is your characteristic equation. It determines the next state of your latch.